Are you excited to run Windows 11 but keep getting this TPN error? Well, I have two fixes that'll help you get around this issue, so let's take a look. I don't wanna waste anybody's time with a deep explanation about what TPM does and how it works, so here's a very brief explanation. What TPM is is a trusted platform module. This module is an international standard, and it's what Microsoft wants to make sure that your hardware has enabled before you can even install Windows 11. And that's basically it. So for more information, you can check out my blog and I go into it a lot more deeper. You're here for a reason, and that's to get around this issue, and I'm gonna show you those methods right now. So fix number one. This has actually been provided by Microsoft themselves, and I'll link their support document in the description below so you can go ahead and take a look at that in detail. This will only work if you have TPM version 1.2. If it doesn't, you can skip to fix number two. So first, let's check if TPM is available. At the desktop of Windows 10, we're gonna click on the Start button. Type in PowerShell, and then right-click on it and run as administrator. Say yes to the prompt. There we go. And inside PowerShell, you can just say get-tpm and hit Enter. So it says false, that means it's not present, and on this PC, the first fix wouldn't work, but if it does say true, then you can go ahead and proceed with the registry edit. So we're at the desktop of Windows 10, and the first thing that we want to do is click on the search button in here, and we're going to type in regedit. And here we go, this is the registry editor, we're going to click on that and say yes to the prompt. And now we just need to navigate to the correct folder. So what we want to do is on the left hand side, we wanna to go to the local machine folder, click on that, expand it, then go down to system and expand that. Scroll down a little bit more, go down to setup and expand that. And inside here, we're looking for something that says Mo Setup. So we have Mo Setup right over here and this is what we're looking for right now. Now, if Mo Setup does not exist on your system, you can right click on, on Setup, go to new, and then you can create a new key, and then you can call it Mo Setup. And then you can add the next level, and then what you can do is you can follow the next step. So I'm just gonna remove this because I don't want it, I'm gonna escape it. So I'm just gonna delete this because I actually do have it. But you can create your own key in here, and then you can follow and proceed on. So we're gonna select Mo Setup, and then what we're gonna do in here is add a new value. So we're gonna right click on the white space in this area, and say new, and then we wanna select the D word 32-bit value. Select that, and then we need to give it a name. And the name that we're gonna give it is allow upgrades with support TPM or CPU. So it's very specific, there's no spaces in here. I'll also put that in the description below. Then what you do is hit enter, and then we wanna double click on it, and we wanna change the value data to one. Click okay and we're done. So we've edited the registry, and now we're able to go ahead and attempt to install Windows 11. So let's get started with method number two. Now, if you've already downloaded the Windows ISO file from Microsoft, uh, you have it already in your downloads folder or wherever you've downloaded it. If you haven't already done that, you can check out this video, and I'll walk you through the steps to do that. The second thing is you're gonna also wanna get the TPM fix. Now I have a link in the description so you can download this directly onto your PC and then extract the files. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through the steps of how to use this fix. So we're gonna open up the ISO file right over here and we're gonna copy everything inside of it. Right click and copy it. So I'm just gonna to go to my desktop over here. I'm gonna just create a new folder inside here and I'm just gonna call it Windows 11. So now we're just gonna open it up and we're gonna paste everything from the ISO image file into this folder. Okay, great. Everything has now been copied over into our desktop folder for Windows 11. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into the downloads folder, open up the zip file, and we're gonna copy the file in here. And we'll open up our Windows 11 folder go inside the sources folder. It's important that you're pasting it in the right folder. So make sure you're inside the sources folder. Then anywhere in here, you can right click and then say paste. Now you're gonna get prompted because this file already exists. But So we wanna make sure that we select replace the file in the destination and done. So now both of these files have been copied over and we can proceed with the Windows 11 installation. So we're gonna go back into here and now you're ready to execute the setup file. Just double click on it and say yes to the prompt and your Windows 11 installation will now begin. 
Now, after you've installed Windows 11, you can roll it back to Windows 10. It's important to state that you only have 10 days to do this. So there's a 10 day window where you can test out Windows 11. If it's not for you, you can change it back. Now, if you wanna know how to do that, you can check out this video and I'll walk you through those steps of rolling it back just in case you didn't wanna get into Windows 11. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing to the channel as I have a lot of more videos for Windows 11 coming out as well as fixes and tricks for Windows. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.